for me, it was informative. It was a sort of refresher because it relates somewhat to what we had done in training school. We directly policy and all that human rights. I prefer uh, the interactive aspects of it, the group participation, because what that did was allow us to further engage ourselves and get involved in the actual topic and see also what we are doing wrong or what some of our members are doing wrong and how we want to correct what is needed wrong. I have already planned to um, speak to my fellow officers, co-workers when I return to my region. And um, I intend to be in the dark room as a matter of fact. I will have uh, first contact with these persons coming into the various reports, especially assault or other reports. In that regard, I know I will be better able to impart my knowledge to those who are supervising as well as those who are present in and around my area um, as it relates to how to deal with these things and to better sensitize them as well as it relates to matters of gender based violence and violence against women. I want to believe that it will be better, it will be more effective if seminars and courses like these are widespread. A lot of the times we come here and we impact yes to persons there, but it will be better rendered if we have other sensitization and seminars more on a broad spectrum. Um, so probably through the wild publicized meetings that we have in our respective divisions, that would be one. Um, proactive messages that we want to read from time to time. This they could also impact aspects of these two these things. Station meetings, that would be another aspect and real briefings. So what this will be a final it will reach a wider aspect of the populace, the JCF populace, and not only the few of us that are here from our respective divisions. 